Hi guys, this video is about making a cotton candy machine of household goods shop. Basic idea is a machine, which I can take off the cardboard, pour some sugar inside and enjoy with twisting some cotton candy. Let's start with concept. Cotton candy machine is a centrifuge with sugar inside it. Centrifuge is heating from the bottom, sugar is melting and squeezing through the tiny holes. Sugar threads are cooling down and the billions of these threads will create a big cloud of cotton candy. At first we need to fix centrifuge on motor shaft. I'm gonna drill a hole in the bolt and weld shaft inside it with cold weld and then fix a centrifuge on this bolt with nuts. Find a center of a bolt's end by jabbing it with pointy screw, while bolt is rotating in a screwdriver. Also, bolt must be made of soft metal alloy, not of thin coated steel, so you will get a nice notch right in the center of bolt. And now let's drill a bolt. Best way is using a vise. But if you don't have one, you can drill a hole in a wooden board and screw a bolt here. And now you can drill a hole. Every 5 seconds twist the bolt clockwise on a quarter to make a coaxial hole. Next step is about welding with cold weld, so we need to create a roughness on the motor shaft for best welding. I am using a two component epoxy cold weld. Now I mix them in the same quantities and carefully smear it on the shaft and in the hole. Welding. Check and correct an alignment until cold weld is soft. For centrifuge I use a tin can without seams. The can must be opened by extraordinary way, by grinding an edge with a file. It is necessary to retain a cap, we will need it later. Grind it before you can see a gap between the can and cap. Then you can hitch it up and remove a cap. After eating and washing, you need to find a center of tin can's bottom. Again, I am using a paper circle, which I made by compass and cut off with scissors. I superpose the circle to the bottom circles and make a mark, which will used for drilling a hole. Now we need to grind all tin can with sandpaper. So fix it in a drill with some bolt and nut and carefully grind it around, inside and outside. Next step is giving a spherical shape to the can's bottom. Use a little hammer or some piece of metal. Now turn it inside out. You should get a thing like this. Fix it in a drill and make a circular mark around the can on distance about 4-5 mm from cylindrical part of centrifuge. Also, there will be a blade on a centrifuge to raise a candy threads upwards. We will make 4 blades. I draw and cut them. Bend blades down. Now we need to make a very big hole in the tin can's cap. You can jab a contour and break out circle piece. Or you can drill a hole and cut this hole with scissors. The centrifuge will be spinning clockwise to torque you the nut on bolt, which is holded on the motor shaft. A little difficult part again. We need to make a dozens of tiny holes in the centrifuge. You need an awl or a pointy nail. Carefully make a lot of tiny holes around cylindrical part of centrifuge. Very good. Put a cap in the top of centrifuge, it's a little tight. Now we need to fix it. Make holes through the skirting and the centrifuge in four places. Then put a piece of wire and twist them. Blades needs to be bended in some angle. A bit less than you can see on the video. Centrifuge is done. Let's work with a motor. I am using a motor from an old hair dryer. 
and it's perfectly fit on this PVC coupling. I'm soldering wires and switch. Assembling and test. It's working. It's time to assemble a candy machine. Draw a circle on the bottom of plastic washball with PVC coupling diameter and cut off this big hole. I will glue a coupling to the washball with hot glue, so I'm grinding for better gluing. It's a better idea to use a cold weld here, because of heating. The machine needs a base, so I mark mount places for foot. Foots will be made of wooden bar. I drill a hole in each bar and fix it with screws. Next step is drilling a lot of holes in the bottom of washbowl for blades. They will make an airflow through these holes. The most hard part is to choose a right source of heat. It should be electric, but in this project I will use a gas torch. Also, we should strengthen machine's foot for mounting a gas cylinder. Now I am making a big hole for the torch's nozzle. And now, using a lot of hot glue, cable ties and screwers, I will create a super strong machine's base. I called it the hot glue chaos. Also, you need to make groove in a gas cylinder's flange, the same as that is already there, but on opposite side. Let me explain. A butane gas cylinder has a pipe inside that is bended. A cylinder must be placed with groove upward while it's working, but in my design it will be placed upside down, so I need to attach a torch upside down too and make another groove for it. After make this, you can plug a gas cylinder and start making a cotton candy. The motor should be supplied by adjustable source of DC, or you can use potentiometer to control a speed of spinning. I've got a best results with faster spinning and minimal fire. But it is a better idea to use an electric source of heat. Maybe I will make some and show it to you in another video. But no matter what, the machine is not so bad. And it can produce a big clouds of cotton candy. It's stable, easy to use, has a potential ways to upgrade, but looks like junk. So, it's made of junk, and I'm totally satisfied. That's all I want to tell you in this episode. I will be very happy if you will watch my other videos and even subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of really cool things I want to show you. Bye!